Hello everybody, Mr. Rome here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy II. In the last episode, we made our way to Finn and infiltrated the city. Made our way through the city to the pub that we'd heard about. And in there, we were let in on a secret back room. We went into the secret back room. We found the prince. Talked to the prince who was dying and uh, gave us he gave us his ring right before he died. And then we brought that ring back to Hilda, um, who appreciates our efforts, and has enlisted us to investigate um, the supplies of Mithril for the Resistance, because apparently we're going to need that to be able to contend with the Imperial weapons and armor. So, we need to go figure out what is going on with that. So... We then talked to Minwoo, and Minwoo has joined our party and uh, has given us uh, the canoe that we need to cross shallow water. All right, so, um, and we also converted Maria over to using uh, spear, javelin, and shield. So we'll see how that goes. And... Um, I've been reading up a little bit, and apparently, from what I found out, is that Firion, Maria, and Guy are the only three permanent party members. The fourth slot is a temporary party slot that people will shift into and out of as the story dictates. So we can't rely on a fourth party member to be what we, you know, to be basically configurable. So the Fury and Maria and Guy are the only kind of configurable party members that we have. So I need to figure out what it is that I'm going to do with them. And very soon, because again, this is a, you know, you need to use certain abilities, weapons, and that sort of thing in order to gain proficiency with them and that is the actual leveling system in the game there is no kind of character level so i need to decide who is going to be my caster right now maria has the highest mp but that doesn't necessarily need to be the case i can make anybody Okay, you have 103 MP. Um, so this is what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I've gone ahead and I've fought a bit more to get enough money to buy magic for everybody. So everybody has magic. Um, so in case I need to use it, I'm going to use it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have Guy actually focus on becoming the caster, but I still want him on the front line. Um, now, as we get more spells, um, we're going to have to divvy up and probably specialize. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have Maria focus on more support spells if and when she's going to cast guy focus more on offensive spells and Firion is going to contribute to i don't know what other options we're going to have we'll, we'll see so we're going to need to have people casting to level up their mp so we're going to have to plan to do that a bit All right. And I also found out that there is a kind of enemy battle rank that so there you know, that governs basically how fast you are going to level up. Um various things. So, you know what? Let's have you focus on thunder. Let's have you keep physically attacking and have you focus on Blizzard.
We got an invasion level up. Okay. So I ship it across this lake. Oh, and we learned about Sid and the airships. Yes, there we go. Alright, because apparently this is where we need to go next. And there is a ship! There is a ship. Paloom. We've heard about this place. You folks wouldn't be looking to book passage on a ship, would you? For just 32 gil, we'll see you safely to Poft. Um. Not yet. We're going to be wanting to do that, but, um. Not going to do that just yet. The Empire didn't attack Paloom or Poft, at least not yet. Ship heading out of our little port will take you straight to Poft. Alright, so that's the inn. We don't necessarily need that yet. Let's buy a mace. Magic interference. Axe is plus 50. Yeah, let's go mace. And guy, you know what? Switch over to mace. Okay. And then, uh, ditch. Let's see, how much was the shield? The shield was 70. You know what? Go mace and axe. We'll go dual weapon for now. Or maybe I should go with dual daggers. You know what? That might not be a bad idea. Switch them over to Twin Daggers. Okay. Then that means I would need... What? Oh, I should check the price. Yeah, uh, 300 gil. 300 gil, okay. That, I think, is something we can swing. Um, what does the armor shop sell? A bronze shield, a bronze helm, a copper cuirass. Interesting, the copper cuirass only has magic interference plus one. The leather armor has magic interference plus four. Yeah, it looks like the magic interference is going to be mostly coming from the weapons. Defense wise, so that's basically a straight improvement. Reduce the magic interference. Twenty four plus eight. Yeah, so you probably wouldn't go with that, but my other characters would. Okay. Bloom's a town of freedom. Wanna settle down here with me, handsome? What does the magic shop got? Cure Tome, Blink, Protect, Shell. There's a lot of good stuff here. Well, let's just see what enemies are around.
Let's see, how much gill was the, um... Alright, magic increased. MP increased. Thirty-two gil. Okay, that's not bad. I want to. Minwoo does level up, or does skill up. Here's HP up, guys, HP up. Yeah, I need 300 gil, well, 350 gil, we'll say. We'll have to remember that we need to come back to this town, though, at some point. Um... Thunder's almost leveled up. Let's have her use cures. Hey, he actually got the cast. Strength, intellect. All right, one more fight. And then we will have enough to do what we need to do here. I think. Nope. One more fight. <laughs> This is just something we're gonna have to do. Okay, magic is going up, MP's going up. Good. Okay. How much is the inn gonna cost me? 36 guild of rest. That's not gonna be enough, is it? No. Dagger, dagger. All right, we are going to need like one or two more fights to be able to afford what we need to afford. And in this case, we're just going to go melee. up to two with the daggers that was nice and quick all right now let's rest at the end and then we will head out you puffed Okay, 
Alright, we actually have to go back out to the ship. Okay. Fine. I see. Okay. Alright, here's the town of Poft. We're town of Poft. Salaman is to the north, and to our east is Bafsk. Uh, no, we're not looking for a ship. There's a pub here. Bafsk. The city to our east is under the control of the Empire. They're building something terrible there. Yeah, that's where they're building the Dreadnought, right? Bask, the Cedar East is under the control of the Empire. Yeah, is this all the same stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there is a unique looking person. Uh, you're here to ride the airship? If you've got the cash, there's no place I can't take you. Oh, it's Sid. Alright, let's, uh, let's ask you everything. Let's ask about the airship. You went on the airship? You pay the guy behind me. Dreadnought. Huh, that oversized garbage scowl? Airships aren't about how big you build them. Airships are all about what they can do. Okay. Mithril? Nothing. Wild Rose? Nothing. Okay. You, you folks in the ride on Sid's Pride and Joy, the only airship of its kind in all the world. No matter how far, we'll take you to your destination in the blink of an eye. Of course, transport this fine caliber comes at a cost. Alright. What's the cost? A lot, okay. And that's actually not too bad, really. More than I can afford right now. All right, that's the inn. We don't need to do that, we just stayed at the inn. Have you seen the airship? It belongs to a fellow named Sid who lives right here in Poft. Is the only one around who can fly it. It's the item shop. The mallet cures amnesia. I don't really have enough money for items right now. I will at some point. What does the weapon shop here carry? Dagger, mace, axe, and bow. Okay, yep. The same. Oh, I just left the town. Don't want to leave town just yet. Door, blink, protect, and shell. Okay, so that's all the same as in the other town. I'm blanking on the name. Looking for Sid? He's probably over in the pub. I hear a few gill will get you on a ride on the airship of his. That's the same stuff. Okay. A loom. Right. All right. So we need to get to Salamand.
They said it was north, right? shutting everything right now. Uh, I guess this is where we're looking. Okay. This should give me a lot of practice. Yeah, there we are. MP's up. HP and MP, magic, magic defense. Here's Salaman. Let's check out the town. This is probably all the same. Yep. What about the magic shop here? What do we got? Life sap. Warp. Transports the party to the previous floor when using battle. Transports the party out of dungeons. We are gonna want those. Those are pricey. Semit Falls is beyond the mountain range to the south of Salamand. That's where the Empire has been mining its mithril. Mace, Longsword. Battleaxe, Longbow. You have a broadsword. Attack plus 8, accuracy plus Sell one of those. Sell one of the bucklers. That base is actually pretty decent, but we're passing on it. armor. That is the one that has higher magic. That's pretty high magic interference, right? 
Yeah, pretty high magic interference with the bronze armor. The copper armor, um... was much lower. Let's get a bronze shield and let's equip you with the bronze shields. For now. Empires enslaved the men of Salaman and forced them to work in the cave at Semet Falls. Please, you have to help them. I love Joseph, but I know that if I'm around, I would just get in his way. Okay. You have business with me? Alright. This is... This is Joseph? Yes. Let's ask about Wild Rose. So, you're here for Princess Hilda? A little short of the tooth, aren't you? You kids can't fool me. Uh, it's got Airship. There's a man who knows all about airships. Why should I tell you who he is? The Dreadnought. Of course I've heard of it. An abomination of an airship is what it is. And Mithril. Mithril, I haven't found any yet. I, I do have a few leads, but I don't plan on sharing what I do know with a bunch of perfect strangers. I'm going to need to do a little something to prove you are who you say you are. There's a bunch of people from Salamant who are being forced to work at the cave at Semet Falls. Rescue them, and we'll talk. Okay, then. Looks like we have a quest. Is that everything here? I mean, there's that other building down here. Ah, that's the that's the temple, church, whatever you want to call it. Shrine, maybe. Looks like it might be where we need to go. Quickly enough to just melee attacks. Ah, uh, can I not? Nope. But what's over here? We probably could have gotten there faster if we'd gone north. 
Just straight west on a salamand. Eh, but this'll do. Soldier. Okay, we got it. Let's see what we got on our hands here. Simit Falls B one. Okay, this is a for this is a proper dungeon. All right. Um. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Let's see, do we get a tank while we're on the river? It doesn't look like we do. We're going to head back to Salamand. We're going to rest up. Probably buy um, some tents or some cottages or whatever it is that they are using in this game. And then we'll head out to Semit Falls and start working our way through there. Looking at the time, it also looks like we're at the end of the episode, so... 65 gil, that's fine. We'll go ahead and stop here for now. We'll make our way to Summit Falls when we come back. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.